So, <laughs> I didn't know where I lied on this topic as of yet. Um, it's taken me this long to come up with a video. I wanted it done yesterday. Um, but, yo, I'm just trying to put my feelings together. I'm not sure. And there was a whole lot I wanted to say about the subject, but I'm going to try to, like, keep it to the, like, big points. What the fuck is wrong with Kanye West? Bad news, bad. Hey, do I gotta promise face? This look like I promise you anything. Kanye, Nick, is you snowing in my class? Wake up, Mr. West! Wake up, Mr. West! Mr. West! Here's here's where I stand on it. Alright. I've watched I haven't seen this TI interview that came out today. I have only seen about 35 to 40 minutes of the Charlemagne interview. And I saw this uh situation with him at TMZ and the what happened with van latham after uh kanye had addressed him um so let's let's start with let's start with the positive stuff let's start with the charlemagne interview because that's the one that i watched the most uh with this charlemagne interview the the type of energy that 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 kanye was giving off was very much so like yo man I, i'm just a free thinker i'm just living my life this is what i'm doing i just wanted to you know express different opinions and things like that and make it seem like like i don't even know what what to truly get from this interview except for kanye's in a very deep place right now whatever he's trying to say and whatever he's trying to communicate and convey he can't do effectively like this is what me and my buddy heavenly were talking about and uh, it just seems like Kanye wants to say something more. He wants to put out more information. He wants to get people to, I'm not sure what his goal is, but he's expressing himself in a way that only he knows how. And just because we don't understand it, like let's, let's back up though real quick. Cause I want you guys to understand. I don't fuck with the Trump thing, but like, I, I, I you're that's cool you can have look i don't even know what to say like you can have your opinion that's what i want to say is you you have more than uh free will access to whatever it is that you want to say or whatever it is that you want to believe that's cool you can do that bro but like the slavery comment fam the slavery comment i just can't i can't fuck with that like that's absolutely something that just didn't make any sense to me whatsoever so i'm just like all right whatever type of space kanye is in let kanye be in that space like it's not even the kanye's over party or cancel kanye party or fuck kanye party or whatever because i just don't don't give a damn about the man anymore like it's just it sucks because he's he's an icon to me he's my he's one of my idols like i respect this man and his opinion and 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 the things that he has done like he's a trailblazer he sets trends like he's so deep in the culture that whenever he says something it affects everyone or whenever he does something it affects everyone and to that effect i would like to say the fuck are you thinking man you can't you can't as a figurehead in a, of a whole culture you have to be you have to understand that you're responsible for a lot of things like a lot of people listen and and breathe the words that you say and that the your opinions and, the, and your views and things like that impact an entire culture there are people who eat sleep and breathe the things that you say me being one of those people like i grew up on the kanye that was just like yo uh one of the things that you don't do is you don't be an asshole unless absolutely necessary you treat people the way that you want to be treated okay uh, uh you know you you respect your parents stuff like that like these are these are things that kanye has instilled through his music and i know a lot of my friends well actually quite a few of my friends swear up and down before this event swear up and down i hate kanye i can't stand kanye like every time he opens his mouth is something stupid blah 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 blah. like nobody really likes kanye like these are the fucking naysayers like i can't stand being around those friends because kanye is so influential to me and he's like such a pivotal like person in the black community number one and just in general like he's just an insightful person like uh between all, all of his albums and stuff like that when you listen to the words that he is saying they just seem like they are supposed to penetrate you and make you think differently you know what i mean like you're supposed to re think in a like moving forward progressive type of manner so that's just like to speak on that 
So like my friends that are naysayers of Kanye, this is exactly the ammo they needed because me talking to some of them yesterday, man, I told you Kanye is stupid as fuck. He's crazy, blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up with that dumb shit. Like, I, like Kanye is still Kanye. Like, yeah, I don't get the, the blinded tip you know, frost tips or whatever, but Kanye still Kanye. And that's at the end of the day, it's just like, I can't, that's what bothers me the most. And that's what makes it difficult for me to get my opinion out there because now I have to question everything. Like, is this really your energy? Is this really how you feel about things? At what point did you develop from, I'm all about black people, I'm all about my culture and I'm all about like, I'm down for my people to, to completely switch up and then try to make like a point in history that it was a choice to be a slave? Like, bro, I even if I was reaching, like reaching so much to like try and damage control this and be like, that's not what he meant. He meant mental enslavement. Like we've been mentally enslaved from the time that we were taken from Africa. Like, like even if you were trying to make that point, bro, I can't defend that. Like that's just, your words are just, are just so, the buffoonery coming out of your mouth like i just don't you need an interpreter okay you need an interpreter that's what the fuck you need because i understand this is probably the the sentiment that you were going for was oh man i'm just gonna uh you know talk about being a free thinker and having you know being mentally enslaved all these years and now we're not we're we're thinking what people want us to think or we're thinking what what people manipulate us to think or what the media this that and the other thing maybe you were going for that but that's not the target that you hit and then these after the fact tweets that you're putting out bro trying to damage control what the fuck you said because you realize that you are damaging your own people like first of all people all black people already got it pretty difficult with the dumb shit that white people put on us like like just with all the crazy other shit that's not even including what media social media and other celebrities have done to make black people just look fucking ridiculous like it just is like how the fuck you gonna have like some uh midwestern white person who doesn't have a, a large exposure to african americans and african american culture and they see stacy dash on television saying the shit that she see that she is saying like it's just doesn't make any sense to me and it really bothers me it just it just bothers me about the whole thing because now i have to question my other idols now I have to question my idols that don't speak out against police brutality or racism or bigotry in America. Like there's so many other like people that I hold in high regard that I, I need to know what the fuck they think now. And yeah, sure. Some people might be like, oh, well, don't these celebrities are just people don't hold them in high regard. Shut that dumb shit up. Because when you want to support somebody and support their craft and you want to support their art and the things that they do. You pay attention to these people. You you get to know these people. You want to support them. You want you want to have an emotional investment. So shut that dumb shit down because that argument doesn't even make any fucking sense. And I'm not saying all this because I want to defend Kanye. I just want to understand Kanye. I want to understand what your your thought process of how you got here. The Trump thing, once again, that do you, bro? If that's who you want to support, if you like Trump, if you're if you're personal friends with him, whatever. I don't fuck with none of his policies. Like a lot of his policies, I don't fuck with. But at the same time, if somebody who does, I mean, that's cool. That's cool that you do that. Um, I'm not saying I respect your opinion because fuck your opinion, honestly. But really, there's just some things that I don't fuck with and there's some things that I do fuck with. And this particular situation, Mr. Kanye West, I do not fuck with. So uh, this shit is not canon, fam. This shit is absolutely 100% not canon. It's not part of a timeline that I want to be a part of. And I have to say, I'm very uh, bothered. I'm very upset. Not even upset. I'm very disappointed. Like, just to know that one of my idols that I, like, supremely fuck with, like, they could tell me to go. He's so influential. He could tell me to go invest in, like, some random fucking bullshit because that's what he's been about he's been about financial empowerment for black people he's been about uh just social empowerment in black people and it's just like bro you can't say stuff like this like it, it bothers me like he's very influential and to that point i say he could tell me to go do some crazy shit and i'll just be like kanye might have a point like for me to have to consider it that's how that's how like 
like deep Kanye's influences. And for him to say these these slavery comments and things like that, let's let's compare it to the Jewish Holocaust, which I don't really like to talk about so much because a lot of my friends are Jewish, but they make it known that the Holocaust was a thing. Like this is this is a very big theme within the Jewish community. Matter of fact, the Holocaust is is an event that at least where I live which is in uh, Southern California, which has a very large, uh, uh, predominantly uh, Jewish areas, <laughs> especially in the areas that I travel in, you know, like you can go to Hollywood, West Hollywood, there's like large Jewish communities. They are built on, on the back of uh, religion and the fact that the Holocaust exists. We as black people don't have that. We don't unify ourselves based upon this one thing that happened in history. Like there's like, Russian Jews, there's, there's, uh, what, what other, uh, Swedish Jews, there's like, you know, uh, some I I Israeli Jews and stuff like that. And they still like some of them fuck with each other, but like, there's still a community. Like, you know what I mean? Like they're still showing up at, you know, Shabbat dinner, regardless of who's, who's, who's like from what type of side of the family and who's a little bit more religious than others or who's less religious than others. They still show up to Shabbat dinner and just like, you know what I mean? Like there's such a, the Jewish community is such a tight knit community. That's what I'm trying to say. Black people, not so much. And we should be like, it's, it's crazy to me to see Jewish communities just be so strong and like so put together and stuff where there's entire neighborhoods just where everybody knows each other and it's just it's just wild to me now, now I'm not saying that doesn't that completely doesn't exist within uh, the black community because it does because back when I used to when I was a kid and I was living in Compton at the time everybody knew each other on the street like down the block, everybody knew each other. Like that was it. So if you got in trouble, best believe somebody's parents already knew and they snitched you out before your parents even found out. Like like before you found that your parents found out. Okay, if you got in trouble at school, best believe somebody's kid was telling their parents, oh, well, you know what? This happened to Jared the other day, blah, 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 blah. Oh, really? Let me just call up his mom real quick. Girl, you never believe what I heard your son did. Like. Next thing you know, you was getting your ass busted when you got home. So, you know what I mean? Like these are, are the tight knit communities that just either don't exist anymore. I'm not really a part of it because I'm an adult. So I kind of go out and do my own thing. Not saying that these, these things don't exist. I'm just saying it's not to the extent of the Jewish community where they, they give their money to Jewish businesses. You know, they, they are responsible for helping other Jewish people prosper like move forward you know what i mean like that is something that i don't necessarily see black people do all the time because we don't spend our money at black owned businesses only and like only rely on other black people for stuff so for kanye west to say the things that he is saying to be such an influential person in the black community just shatters the whole fucking thing so i've had it's so much to really say on this point, but that's that's all I'm gonna get into for today guys make make sure to like this video If you enjoyed it if you disliked it at least let me know why in the comment section scroll down I want to hear your opinions. I want to see what you guys are talking about um, How do you feel about the Kanye West situation? I'm just I'm just baffled fam. I'm just baffled So anyway, this has been your boy Jay Sama. I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon this shit is just ridiculous. <laughs>